Every now and again, you meet that man. And oh, do you love that man? He's the man for you. But every now and again, that man will play you like he doesn't know. Fat meat is greasy. Stop his heart, sis. I don't get anti-Semitism from black people. Like, I just don't understand. Who doesn't like Seth Rogen? I mean, he smokes weed louder than NeNe Leakes. Season one, NeNe. And his Jufro is nappier than dick hair. How do you not like this man, these people? Not only that, but half of y'all niggas, y'all be claiming that you're so Christian, but what about Jesus? Wasn't he a Jew? The fact that we cannot see past the spectrum of color as a people is disheartening, especially considering how much knowledge we have of, of how varied we are as a people. We do not all look the same. But I blame black women. I do. I mean, we took the Tracy Silversteins of the world and we typed her a light-skinned black girl when in all actuality Tracy Ellis Ross is biracial. She has two totally separate experiences, one as a black woman and one as a half Jewish woman. But we're too busy typing her curls <laughs> and asking for the hair routine and asking her how she could stand to make love scenes with Anthony Anderson. I mean, shout out to all of my B.O.N.s big old niggas. I bet that's one person that could suck a clit through that gap like it's the winning field goal to Super Bowl 32 or whichever Super Bowl we're on. It's definitely a good one. It's a good kick. A good lick. Either way it goes though. Listen, racism is musty. Let's get over it. Now I bet he could suck a clit through 